Our spies have returned from their harrowing reconnaissance mission to the Atlantean city, Cleitos, and they have some truly frightening news. They report that those dastardly Atlanteans have built an enormous weapon. This weapon is capable of causing widespread damage, and it doesn't even have to be anywhere near its intended target. After our string of triumphant victories, they must be too frightened to meet us in honorable combat. Other than its effects, our spies were unable to uncover anything else about the weapon, or how it works. Fortunately, the gods are with us, and they have provided us with the information our spies could not. Hephaestus, the master craftsman, has devised a way to sabotage the weapon. Only a crafty hero will be able to slip past the fortress at Lyxis, penetrate the defenses of Cleitos, and get near the weapon without notice. The quicker this weapon is neutralized, the easier it will be for us to defeat Atlantis once and for all. While we work on sabotaging this weapon of doom, our allies are valiantly battling Atlantean aggression. Like any war effort though, supplies are consumed at a rapid rate, and the demand for more is always high. We need to rally to our allies' aid by providing them with the goods that they need to continue this glorious war against Atlantis. Other cities still under Atlantean rule have been secretly sending us gifts in the hopes that we will free them, and many of our new allies have been sending us gifts in gratitude for our help. Well, this shouldn't be too terrible. I've already got a lot of wheat here, so I'll go ahead and stockpile it. So that should be quick. Um, I do need some people. But I can keep improving this. We just need to get olive oil. Okay. So, yeah, that's okay. What's wrong with you guys? Horses. They need horses. Okay, well, since I'm sort of stockpiling the wheat, that's not going to come anytime soon. This is a full area up here, I think, right? No, they need horses too. Okay, well, so we, we are actually a little bit weaker than our Gnosis base. Um, boy, I don't know. I'd like to start taking the fight to the Atlanteans. I could reconquer Sidon and Tyr. Maybe Carthage? I don't have... Um, Triremes this time. Oh, and I did not replace. I guess I figured I was making too much food. Why didn't I replace the fisheries? I should do that. But then again, if I wanted to put a trireme, uh, it, it would require too much. Right, and I was going to put them over here anyway. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Okay. Uh, so I need to build a bridge, another bridge, because I didn't leave myself room for the first one. Dang, if I build it here, I'm taking away some coastline for fisheries. That might be okay, though. I can build some more fisheries. Okay, well, I guess in that case, it's time to just build this up. So we'll put oil vendor in there. Do I have an excess? Yeah, I do. The thing is, though, is that if I make my stuff too dependent... Now, see, I did it. I did that here. I... I... How did I do that? I didn't leave myself room for a uh, podium. Out one of these houses, which is really not a good thing to do right now, but I may as well do it now rather than later. Anyway, what I was saying was that if I make my city too dependent upon this block right here and the employees that come with it, then the next time there's a big tidal wave, I'm in trouble. Sea trade has opened up. I don't think I actually have anyone trading, so I'm not sure that that's terribly important to me. Um, 
I don't think I'll be able to get those. I think they're stuck. Can't fit another statue in there. I could put a statue right here, but I, well, you, that might actually work. There we go. Okay, maxed out. We've got 200 extra people, so I can start looking at building this, and uh, I should probably go ahead and just start a fishery right there, just to make sure I've got everyone fed. Hope another tidal wave doesn't... Oh, well, hey. Never you mind. Now, wait a minute. Where am I getting wheat from? Just in tribute? I guess I'm just getting that in tribute, right? No. Who's giving me that? These are allies, not vassals. Even though I conquered them. So no one. Um, but these guys do... Okay. Time to feed them some money so I can make them happy. Now if I go conquer Sidon here, which is what I should do right now, let me look at my... Uh, we really don't have... Do you think that many hoplites will be enough to take them out? I bet it will. Okay, let's go conquer them right now. Enlist everyone. The Clashers can stay home and build up. Let's keep the Pillars home. That way they can turn into the uh, horsemen. And Gnosis or Sparta? Gnosis or Sparta? Sparta has two shields. So let's... No, 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 no. Even though I probably don't need that much military power, I'll just take them anyway. Because I can make them happy with me almost immediately. Just by giving them some money. Okay, so that'll be a good source of wheat there. I can get tribute. Uh, what are we doing? I could build a stronghold to Zeus. Would that actually fit on this? I d don't think it would. I am the best like just... of all the gods. No yeah. other god can offer you what I can. The thing is... As much as I would like to do that, I am not really sure if it'll be stable enough to do that. We're selling sculpture, we're selling just bronze. Okay, I should be making more than enough bronze for that. I should probably also be making an excess amount of sculpture, or er, armor, because I've got five armor guys here that I could probably sell it. We're selling enough sculpture, though, that I don't think I have to worry. Every time Hephaestus appears and makes that noise, it makes me nervous. Um, what else needs to be done? I guess we're waiting on next year so I can shuffle that wheat around. But now that I should be getting it as tribute, yeah. Why don't we... Go ahead and conquer Tyr while we're at it. We'll keep the Atlanteans running around. It'll be a lot easier on me, too, because then it means I can... Um, I don't think I need Gnosis. I think I can handle this alone. It means that I just have to send people... They didn't get my first tribute, or my first gift yet, I don't think, but I'll give them a second one. Yeah, it'll be easy on me, because then I just have to send some troops to help whenever they get attacked, is what I'm saying. Holy crap. 200 people. Alright. Somehow I'm still managing... Am I selling that? How am I managing to store that much marble when they give it to me as a gift? Does anyone want this? I don't think they do. I think I've determined that before. Um, who did I just see? 
No, I thought I saw someone was unhappy with me. Wait a minute. No, they sell marble. Damn it. Nobody wants this stuff. Okay. I wonder if I could take Carthage. They've got a lot of money right now. And those two shields kind of frighten me, but... Well, I think uh, the most important thing right now is building the trireme. And let's just hope Poseidon doesn't come along and fuck everything up. Okay, and this will be a nice little road that I can send out to here and build another trireme wharf right here because it's just not going to fit otherwise. There's no other way, unless I crossed over to this island. I think we'll be okay here, though. So that's going to go straight up there. Let's drag this down. And then if I drag it like that, I've got two more areas for fisheries. Let's check my stockpile. Okay, we might want to build a couple more. I've got the people, I may as well. It'll also give something for Poseidon to do. We don't need to actually have him wandering that way. Poseidon will have something to do if he comes, which will hopefully distract him from more important things. And I just conquered Tyr, it said? Yes. Please, let okay. me fulfill an outstanding request. Okay. Um, I don't know who was going to request that. Someone just asked for something. Um, Greetings, mortal. Only you have the metal to complete my quest. Okay, great. Can I do what I'm trying to do here for a minute, please? Okay, I want to give them some money so they stop being sourpusses about losing the war. Okay. Odysseus. He's ready to go. Oh wow, he's ready to go. Let's set that aside. Stop stockpiling it so I can start getting horses. And... And... There we go. Send for Odysseus. Okay, this will be a nice short one. Let's save even though we're not ready to end quite yet. The world 70 people. Odysseus, King of the Cleitos. Cleitos. I should know how it's said by now. Um, God damn, there's just so many people. Okay, you know what? You're ready to turn right around and go. We lost... We lost some people in that last one. Wow, okay. So I've got enough people for almost one more trireme. Almost one more. I'm going to have to destroy something if I want to free up the people. I could probably destroy some of this stuff. Actually, I could destroy the temple builders because I don't think I'll need them. I need to do something to get rid of this building material really badly. <laughs> I am um, the best of all the gods. No other god can offer you what I can. And I just saw... I'm going to have a massive problem here really quickly. Because I just emptied out all of my olive oil. Shit. Who can give me some of that? They can give me olives. These guys can give me olive oil. I will just act for some olive oil and give you some money to make you happy. Let's make sure I'm getting as much as I can, though. These guys are only sympathetic. Okay, well... Actually, let me save one more time, just because we might be very close to the end. Too. You well, champ. 
Let me tell you about this secret weapon thing. Odysseus began. It was easy enough to penetrate the defenses that the Atlanteans had surrounding it. Those Atlanteans always have their head in some book, and they were so intent on their scholarly studies that they didn't even notice me. So there it was, all shiny and red and with lots of buttons. Since no one was paying any attention to me, I spun some dials and pressed a few of the buttons. Next thing I know, the Earth starts shaking. Of course, this gets the attention of all the book-loving scientists, and they start coming after me. Without wasting another minute, I poured about a dozen hives worth of honey right into the weapon. By this time, the scientists were on top of me. Of course, scientists don't fight nearly as well as heroes do, and I was able to single-handedly vanquish them all. There must have been a hundred of them! Anyway, Sluggo, you ought to get out there in the Mediterranean and attack while the attacking is good. Though I wasn't able to destroy the thing completely, I at least gummed up the works for a little while. Since Atlantis is crawling with scientists, it won't be long until one of those little fellows figures out how to fix that big red shiny thing. Yeah. So when we come back, we're gonna have to deal with the olive oil crisis. Can Athena do something about that? Seems to me that she could. Maybe I should have prayed to her. Anyway, I'll see you next time.